Movie lovers, listen up. Today, you have a chance to see some great films made right here in Wisconsin. The Wildwood Film Festival has several screenings today, and it's your chance to see tons of movies with Wisconsin ties. One of the films being shown today is Shine Like Stars. It's the story of four regular guys from Milwaukee who work nine to five jobs by day and become rock stars by night. Dustin Limegruber produced the film, and he joins us along with Jason Buss, the co-founder of the Wildwood Film Festival, in the studio this morning. Thank you both for joining us. Thanks for having us. Um, Dustin, I'd like to start with you. Uh, tell us what Shine Like Stars uh, is all about and where the idea came from. Well, you summed it up really well. It's about four regular guys from Milwaukee who work nine to five jobs, and, uh, but by night they become rock stars in a U2 tribute band called U2 Zoo. Um, the idea came about when I'd seen them at Summerfest. Like, I'm sure a lot of people see them initially. You're like, who are these guys? Who do they think they are trying to be you too, right? But the closer I got to the stage, the more interested I was. And you realize these guys are fantastic. They just hit, they nail the music. And then when I got to know them, they're really about family. They're really about working a balanced life. And I found that to be a really interesting angle for a documentary. So we spent quite some time, a year and a half actually, filming their shows, 45 hours of footage of shows, five hours of footage of interviews, and we whittled it all down to a, a 30 minute uh, piece that you can see at one o'clock today at the Wildwood Film Festival. Wow. And so what do you think uh, viewers are going to get out of this? Well, I, I think it's an inspiring story because it sort of redefines the definition of what success is. It's not necessarily the limos and all of that kind of stuff. It can be, you know, having a gig on the weekends and going home to your wife and kids at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be Hollywood. Okay. Well, let's talk about the film festival in general. Uh, Jason, where does this all take place and what can people experience? Uh, UW Fox Valley in Menasha. And uh, actually, the first show of the festival started last night. Um, we have three more shows today at 1 and 4 and 7, and throughout the festival this weekend we're programming over 40 short independent pieces, all produced by people from Wisconsin or in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. and, and why did you, I know you're a co-founder of this festival, why, why organize something like this here? Um, I guess just a passion for film, and we believe that Wisconsin has a very unique a very unique take on humor and on life and we wanted to showcase that at least one weekend a year. Okay and you guys uh, I know we have a link to your website on ours where people can find all sorts of information on what movies are showing and uh, do you have any favorites? I'm sure you like Shine Like Stars but do you have any favorites or, or ones that you see as you know big potentials? Um, I'd always love to say that everything is big potential, but I have a couple of my personal favorites. Um, one you'll have a chance to see this afternoon um, is a two and a half minute short animated feature, animated piece called Murphy's Shorts. Um, it's a big kid, swimming trunks, and a diving board, and who knows what happens, but it's only two and a half minutes, you won't want to blink. Oh, um, you got me, you got me, uh, piqued my interest. And uh, that was the best animation one, and we had a terrific, uh, the best in our comedy category, the new true Charlie Wu. Um, and I really can't explain it, a guy's in a rut and has a breakthrough, um, and it's a journey and it's terrific. That's right, and then don't forget Shine Like Stars, which also sounds very fascinating. And thank you both for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.